Nominees were shortlisted thanks to an adjudication panel which has a chairman, but on that adjudication panel are people who year in and year out, every single day, they're working with sports in their various sectors. One lady, she's the CEO of Hockey South Africa, Marissa Langeni, is part of that adjudication panel. Welcome to Morning Live. So just tell us the difficulty of being on this adjudication panel and what it actually means and how you guys got to the shortlist. Hi Valen. Yes, as you said, it is quite a difficult process. Fortunately, as a country, we have a well of talent and we've had phenomenal achievements in the year of adjudication so it was quite a difficult task um, but the reality is that as the adjudication panel our job is not to nominate all the candidates the national federations the provincial sports councils schools and unions have the responsibility of nominating their stars and their top athletes so that makes our responsibility quite limited to the nominees that we have received from the various federations and that have also been through the audit process via auditors to ensure that they've met all the requirements of the rule book of the sports awards as well as have filled in all the necessary paperwork. So yes it has been quite difficult. We've received a number of, of athletes that we could have looked at and it's just a pity that we can only announce three per category and that obviously there's always going to be one winner at the end. But yeah it's been phenomenal this year and I think um, if we've seen what we've seen this year next year is going to be even more interesting. So it really comes down to the federations. The federations also putting forward their examples of excellence. Absolutely. The federations have that responsibility. They obviously function within that code of sport. And yes, we've had to encourage a number of them to submit nominations, but we're happy that they came to the party at the 11th hour, some of them. But uh, the quality of the nominations that have come through shows us that due process has been followed and that the federations have really thought about what they have within their own sports code. Now you are heading up a South African Sports Federation in hockey, right, in South Africa. So speaking to some of the other heads of federations, do they get quite excited when SA Sports Awards time rolls around? And do you think it's grown in prestige? Yes, it's, it's an absolute honour. And I think that the fact that the Minister has taken on the responsibility to honour athletes is a big step because previously this has not been done. And as federations, we try and do this in our own small way, in our own space. But the reality is that on a national scale, we have these awards and we have the opportunity to nominate athletes that have achieved because they have done it for South Africa and they deserve the recognition. So for federations it's quite difficult. Some have more like the codes of athletics and swimming. Um, so yes, the challenge is quite great. What happens now? We've got the shortlist, we know who the nominees are. What will happen before we get that person that can be announced as the South African Sports Star of the Year or the South African Sportsman of 2014? Yes. The adjudication panel will obviously sit again and they'll review um, the nominations that have been announced today. So we will shortlist. We've done it to three and now we will obviously select the eventual winner. I'm sure in the background there will be a lot of lobbying. We'll see a lot of activity on social media, in the press, etc. So it will be quite an interesting experience. The Sports Star is a responsibility that every South African citizen has and they have the opportunity to vote for their sports star and their favourite personality. And it's also important to note that the sports star category is a popularity contest at the end of the day. Which is a sport, which person um, reflects the views and the visions of South Africans and the hopes and dreams of South Africans and it's that person that will be crowned the sports star of the year. All right, so you hear it from Marissa Langeni on the adjudication panel, just throwing that out to all South Africans that you, in fact, do need to vote for your SA Sports Star of the Year. That is the major award of the evening, and it's quite appropriate that the South African public have a major say in that. Marissa, thank you very much for chatting to us here on Morning Live, and I'm sure not many people would like your job being on that adjudication panel because it is certainly very tough categories and excellent nominees that we have to choose just one winner in each of those categories. We'll be back chatting to a couple of those nominees. I see just off camera we've got a nominee in the Sportswoman of the Year, Mpo Maria Lady, that exemplifies this year's theme, Triumph Over Adversity, as well as Khotata Mojane, who is a nominee in the Sportswoman of the Year with a Disability. So stay where you are.